Hi guys, uh, my name is Sifiso Junior Mzangwe. I am from Stexbrate in the Eastern Cape. I studied mechanical engineering at the Bar University of Technology in Fadebel Park. Okay, I have a question for the both of you. Um, you know, we're talking about it, it, this show mostly focuses on life after varsity. Yeah. We know how sometimes it is so difficult for for people to get to get work. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are some of the challenges that you guys had? Did you have any in terms of getting internships, getting jobs? What challenges did you guys actually have after varsity? There's money factor. Put it one side. Um, I'll say this: um, in the world, you get paid in two coins, experience and money. Take the experience first; the money will come later. Hence, the money. Okay, it's it's, it's bad, but I'm surviving. Um, but what I'm looking for, what I'm looking at, the bigger picture is experience. Once you can get that experience, it makes you marketable mm. as well. So, please experience first True. money will come later True. True. for me i was also one of the fortunate people who didn't have had to struggle you know for a long time so for me i felt like i had to fight though like i had to get out there and fight for what i want <laughs> me sitting at home and just sending emails and applying online whatever it's, it's not enough so to, how did you fight i had to go to that specific place that i've applied and be like yo I've applied, what's happening? I've been called for an interview, what's happening? And then they told me no, um, they've already interviewed people for that specific um, position or whatever, so there's nothing they can do about it. I did that for I don't know how many companies, but then one of them actually came through, they're like, yo, remember you came here, uh, there's actually a spot, can you come for an interview? You know, so that helped. So had I not went there, they wouldn't have remembered me because I mean obviously there's a lot of people who are there. Yeah. They get so many applications. So you being there it shows that you are serious about this. So it makes them take you seriously to know that you want this guy because this guy has fire, you know, and they'll always remember you. So yeah. just make sure that you go there. Go and fight for what's true. Don't just it's not enough just um you know applying, 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 applying. You actually go and see if you can talk to these people face to face mm. call oh. them something sorry man. sorry to tell you yeah. the world owes you nothing yeah definitely <laughs> so i don't think you yeah. sitting there behind your phone and yeah. computer just sending emails that's enough no mm. as i mentioned earlier um, network mm. go go out there be a go-getter mm. don't just sit back mm. Mm. definitely like in football when you play soccer mm. when you play soccer mm. you play football before um when you're playing soccer let's say someone gives you a pass yeah you don't you don't wait for it. You go to the ball. Yeah. You anticipate yeah. the ball. Yeah. So be a yeah. goal getter. Go, go. <laughs> to the ball. Go, go to, to the, the ball. ball. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally, totally agree. Because I think that's one thing. People just sit at home and be like, Yes, okay, yeah, I won't lie, so it's not easy. It's not easy. And um also when you do get um spa in your job, whatever, you shouldn't say those who um are unemployed they're not you know doing anything mm -hmm. about it because maybe they are you know so we shouldn't also you know disregard that as well so a lot of challenges yeah there's a lot of challenges that they face it. so it is important to just go for it like yeah. border companies border people yeah. because Be, and yeah. every week apply 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 because someone was saying you know i could be sitting at home saying on my phone saying okay there's a job on linkedin i'm online apply but mm. think about how many people are lying on their beds doing applying the doing the same thing mm. so call that person mm. call that hr call mm. that company apply mm. and maybe they'll take you seriously if something comes mm. like oh there's this person who keeps bordering us mm. so yeah, yeah that's how you and another thing is that uh, sometimes you will not you know tick all the boxes mm. that are required by the specific the, the requirements yeah. yes so just apply 
just apply and but be, i think you should also be realistic in that one like they <laughs> yeah. can't say you want a chief geologist and <laughs> you are just from <laughs> yeah definitely yeah you know what yeah. be realistic, be realistic you know but, you know yeah like for example if they want three years experience and you maybe have one exactly you can i mean just just apply you know but sometimes guys i heard this i was told by a lecturer of mine that some companies the reason why they put their maybe uh, three years experience yeah. it's just to try minimize the number oh, of people uh, that makes sense. but mm, if that you look sense. at it most companies when 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 they recruit people they also want to train you mm. train you according to how, how they, they do things. how they do yeah them. because everyone has yeah. their own standards mm. exactly. as well so, their own ways of doing things so and you see three years experience mm. as long as you tick the boxes with mm. the requirements you got you got the necessary mm. qualifications do it another thing guys um i can hear we're talking about uh applying applying for jobs 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 we know we've recently had the unemployment rate in south africa yeah, yeah increased recently yeah. so and youth unemployment is i think over um, skyrocketing yeah. yeah so yeah, guys um think about it uh there's opportunities in south africa we need to exploit um we should not be sitting back on that thing to say that uh no I go to school graduate and you just want a job after you get a job you get that townhouse in Yana, mm. holy trend, you mm. create the colon in Yana, mm. then you're comfortable. Mm. No guys, let's be innovative. Adversity, you're not taught to work for somebody yeah. else. Um, let's be innovative. Use your skill. Don't just sit back and say, I am waiting for a job, not to do a job. What are you doing? True. True. Yeah, okay. Education is to open up our minds. Yeah, education. Yes. Education. Eh? It's, it's, look at people. You don't have to, sometimes, remember this, if you can look at some top companies and some billionaires, most of them is people that don't even have a university degree. True. Yeah. Those people were brave enough to take advantage of the opportunity. Mm. Guys, we, we are actually better off in the sense that we, most of most graduates that are sitting at home, you, you got skill, you got the knowledge. Utilize it. Come up with something. Not, I understand that not we can we can't all be entrepreneurs, yeah. but try. Try. you mm. never know that maybe with the skills that you have yeah right? with the skills that you have and also i think we need to look in in terms of hiring graduates like we have so like all of us i don't know how many engineering graduates there are how many geology graduates there are how many i don't know graduates there are but then we all want to be hired we all, all of us we all want to be hired so why not like come together and then start something start a company start a business where you can hire like other people like, like, yeah. yeah yeah um and the reason I'm saying this because I'm doing something. I'm not. I'm not okay. just. Uh, I practice what I preach. Okay. Um. Um. I've got some um, idea, mm. but I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Just in case. We're going to see him one day. <laughs> know you're near. Then we're going to interview you yeah. when you're near again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. I've got a few guys. Um, mm. um, for my classmates, mm. we've got this group. We actually want to register a company. Yeah? Okay. Um, it's going to be. Uh, an engineering company, engineering solutions. Nice. Uh, nice. So, focusing on power generation, mm. uh, but we don't want to only focus on power generation. Mm. We are really broad, but we are still in, still at the initial phase of the mm. project. Um, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy, but yeah. Um, let's let's try. Let's just give it a try. Let's see where where it will take us. Just no. sitting back. I love this. Yeah, but. Um, um, I'll talk to Smu um, once I feel ready. Mm. Yes. Because yeah, then... towards the end of my my season, I'll be talking about that, like what the the different projects that the youth are doing out there. Yeah. It might inspire someone else to be like, hey, let me actually. Because people sit on their ideas until someone does it, and like, ah, that's my yeah, idea. Yeah, no, I could have. You know? uh, yeah. 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 So, and so we just need that guts to just do it. Sorry about. That. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. I'm talking to myself. So take out a we used to this when I it's true. Um, you might find the person that's actually watching, people who are watching this now, that this person might have had an idea but presented it to someone wrong who shot the idea down. And just mm. say, I speak this, it's like this because it happened to Experience. me as well. Um, I had this, we, we had this brilliant idea. So there was an eco preheater for some geyser. So we had to pre warm water before it enters in the geyser. Yeah. But, anyways, we presented it. It was actually a, a, a school project, a project for Kenya at school, a varsity. Mm. Some subject called mechanical design. Mm. We did it. 
It is a brilliant idea. Like you presented it to someone, you let someone just shut the idea down. Like the whole group connects. We all lost it. We all decided now. Let's sneak in right there. And I'm sure you just you, you all were excited about it. We're all excited. But all your energy. Up and yeah. Just one person yeah. destroyed it. Just so, but oh. word of advice: don't don't do that. Don't allow people to crush your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Push. Be persistent. And network, network. I'll keep mm. saying network. Network, guys. So, what's the one thing that you wish your lecturer had told you when you were in varsity? I wished. Could have told me that technical and knowledge alone will not get you places. Yeah. Um, you you can be the most technical person, most smartest person in the world, but yeah. if you if you only one side of tech, you only you only focusing on technical aspects as the way the teachers in varsity, you will not get you places. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's what I learned being in the mining industry. Mm. Yeah. So now to someone who has um, graduated and they are job hunting. What advice would you give them to make themselves more marketable to their employers? Obtain certification when possible. Mm. Um, network. Mm. Uh, join organizations. Mm. For an example, in mechanical engineering, we've got the Cyberkey, South African Institution of Mechanical Engineering. Mm -hmm. um, be a member, attend seminars, mm. we network with people who are in the industry. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, certification. Networking is part of the process. And then link, LinkedIn, does it work? It works. Uh, it works. Um, so the purpose of LinkedIn is basically to network, network with yeah. your employers, uh, employers, colleagues, yeah. whatever. Yeah. 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 So LinkedIn is very important um, as, a, as a job seeker. Mm. It's where you can decorate yourself on LinkedIn. Mm. Um, you can meet up with the right people mm. on LinkedIn. Um, yeah. So. Yes, when to when you speak about LinkedIn, it's, it's false part of networking. Yeah. Network, network, yeah. network, network, yeah. network. I cannot stress that out anymore. Network, network, network. <laughs> so now, um, what are your future aspirations? Like now that you're here where you are right now, what are you aiming for? What are you aiming for right now? For now, to be honest, um, uh, I just completed the requirements of my VTEC. Yeah. Um, now the only thing I'm focused on is just to get my government certificate of competence. Um, once I can get that, then we'll talk about other things. <laughs> now I'm just focused yeah. on getting my GCC. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, I hope you get that, my man. Yeah. I'll wait. Yeah, because I'm Just to remind me that it's okay to reset, readjust, restart, refocus as many times as I have to. So don't forget to subscribe down there. <laughs>